Hello, it's Monday, September 14th, and welcome to Minutes That Matter. Well, turn in your Bible with me this morning to Matthew chapter 7. And as you're turning there, uh, allow me to share the following about an event in our nation's religious history. One of the most frightening discoveries about the People's Temple Christian Church was that a large majority of its members had been raised in Christian homes of one sort or another. Now, I know that might not seem bad, but hang, hang in there with me. Most of those who joined the church did so in the belief that it offered a higher and more genuine experience of Christian fellowship and service. Their pastor knew how to inspire hope. He was committed to people in need. He counseled prisoners and juvenile delinquents. He started a, a job placement center. He opened retirement homes and homes for the mentally disabled. He had a health clinic. He organized a vocational training center. He provided free legal aid. He founded a community center. He preached about God. Their pastor created a warm Christian community. But on the other hand, there were also all the marks of a false prophet. He promoted himself through the use of celebrities. He manipulated the press. He used the language and the forms of faith that gain his power. Eventually, he replaced Jesus Christ as the sole authority in people's lives. He began demanding money for every service he offered and was preoccupied with physical relationships with women. He would lie convincingly about anything in order to gain an advantage or make a desired impression. He had managed to gain the admiration and praises of countless church leaders, governors, senators, congressmen, and even the President of the United States. Yet the church dissolved overnight when that pastor, Jim Jones, and nearly a thousand of his most loyal followers committed mass suicide at Jonestown in Guyana, South America. The greatest tragedy of Jonestown was not that nearly a thousand people died, but that they died believing they were serving God, when in truth, they were serving Satan and were on their way to hell if they did not know Christ. Any believers who may have been among them incurred great loss of reward. Christ said in Matthew 24, 24, For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. In part, the thousands of followers of Jim Jones died and or were fooled because they checked their minds at the door. And from a sincere but unbiblical thought process, they failed to judge biblically. Now, I began our time together with this because we're coming into the home stretch of our study on the Sermon on the Mount. Christ is in the middle of his invitation and is setting up a, a series of choices. He is showing us that we have a choice between two gates, two ways, and two destinations. Both say, heaven this way, but one leads to destruction and one leads to eternal life with Christ. Today, our study brings us to a portion of Christ's invitation which might seem unrelated to what we would describe as a traditional invitation. However, it's no less a part of the invitation. You see, what Christ is going to do is ask the listener to evaluate who and what they've been following and whether it is truth or error. Each sermon that is preached should bring us to that point in our life. What or who have I been following? And so, follow along as I quote verse 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. This week, Christ brings us to a point of judgment. He's going to be calling on us to come to a conclusion of who or what we've been following. We're to do this not on man-made truth or personal desires, but on the truth of God's Word. Doing so is part of one of the most important decisions a person will ever make. So, we hope you'll join us this week as we look at how we can avoid following the wrong person. Well, thank you for being with us today. If you're not yet a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. If you want to know when a new video comes out, hit the little bell button. And we ask that you consider encouraging others with the Word of God by posting this on your social media page. And so from all of us at Minutes That Matter, have a blessed day.